Well, hello, this is the Red Leg A1 coming to you from the Peaceful Glen Homestead, home of the Central Virginia Permaculture Institute. And right now I'm going to show you the tool, uh, one of the tools that I use here on the homestead that I consider it to be at the top, at the top level, probably one of the top five tools that I use on the homestead. And it's uh, the Steel FS450K. This is a, they call this the bushwhacker. And the main thing I want you to understand is, is that this is a cutting blade. It's like a, you might consider it like a lawnmower blade. Uh, this thing turns at an incredible RPM. Not sure exactly what the RPM is. But uh, I, I sharpen it um, probably three or four times a year. Uh, it's been a very reliable tool. Uh, I've had the thing now for going on 10 years and I bought it at a estate sale along with uh, a bunch of other stuff. I paid a thousand dollars and probably walked away with five thousand dollars worth of stuff. This thing has a harness. It's pretty heavy. The harness hooks right here uh, and your controls are right here on the stop side. You've got stop, start, run and of course I always anytime I'm operating machinery I use good ear protection and good eye protection. In this case I've got a good pair of protective sunglasses. Anyway, this thing has been a very powerful piece of equipment for me to use here on the homestead. Uh, I, I cut about probably 900 feet of what I said before was about 1500 feet of linear feet of, of swale. And I'll cut the swales, the, the, the swale berm, probably three times a year, twice during the growing season and once at the end of the season, like I've mentioned once before. Uh, and then, you know, that the stuff that I cut, it's basically cut and drop, and you drop it in place, and it has created um, a good measure of soil building fertility. One of the things I wanted to show you was, okay, this is this year, or this particular uh, time that I cut in, uh, in October. And then if you look down in here, I probably have a good inch or two before I actually get down to soil. Okay, there's soil right there, and this soil was a, uh, it's a sandy loam. It's got some clay in it, but it's definitely uh, sandy as well. So this creates a, uh, over the last three years, I've cut this type of stuff down and just laid it in place, and then it creates its own mulch. Um begins to break down, create a cover, build soil, and it makes it more compatible for us to come in here and do some additional planting, planting, and uh, we'll plant some uh, fruit producing shrubs, uh, berry bushes, blueberry type stuff, uh, some vines. Back over here, I have a uh, pecan tree we'll walk over that way and on that pecan tree I have a native native to this property a grapevine and I've been told that it's a native Virginia grape which would mean that it's either a scuppernong or a muscadine and you can see even right now here's some fresh growth 
on that vine. We did have some vine die off on the other side, but then it came back on this side. And eventually what it'll do is it'll grow with this pecan tree and uh, become a part of that same system there. So, okay, it's swale and tree maintenance time, and that's what we've been working on. Uh, I hope this, I'm certain that this video will help someone. Um, feel free to leave us whatever questions or, or, or thoughts or comments that you have. And uh, we'll do the best we can to answer uh, those, those questions and comments. This is the Red Leg A1 out here for now. Thank you.